In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this really awesome sliding reveal text effect, and that is right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into the video. So once we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you have a brand new sequence created, we need to start by creating a brand new title. So we'll go up into File, New, Legacy Title, and we'll press OK on this submenu. And inside of the Legacy Title window, you want to go ahead and type out a word. And this word wants to be part of a sentence. So the sentence that I'm going to create is, how are you? which consists of three words. So this means we need to create three titles. So I'm going to select T, click anywhere on the video, and I'm going to type out how. Now I'm going to change the font, change the size of this, change the weight of this, change the color. We'll center this up and then go back to the cursor tool, the selection tool, Copy the how and hold command C to copy that. Now we'll exit the legacy title window, go into file, new legacy title, create a brand new title by holding command V. That will paste in the how. We can rename this to R. We'll come out of that legacy title window, create a brand new title again, legacy title, command V to paste and U. And we'll just center that up and we'll leave the legacy title window. Now we've got three titles and one sequence. So we just want to add those three titles on to the timeline. So we'll select all of those titles, drag them on to video layer one. And now from here, I'm just going to shift the second title and the third title up onto video layer two and onto video layer three. Now we'll pull those up to the very beginning. So you should just have this clump of words, which just look a little bit insane. So I'm going to select title six. That is the U. I'm going to pull this over to the right. We'll select how and we'll pull this over to the left. And as you can see, I clearly didn't censor one of these up. So I'm just going to pull the position of this down a touch to make sure that this lines up with all of the other text on that line. That looks awesome. So I'm just going to pull this to the left of R. And then we'll pull you a little bit closer. And there you go. We've got three words separated into three different titles. So from here, we want to go ahead and we want to create a brand new keyframe on title two. That is the R. So we'll go one second into the video, create a brand new keyframe on position. We'll go back maybe six keyframes. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we'll pull the position over to the left just underneath how. And at that point, we want to select C on the keyboard. That will load up the razor tool, make a cut where the cursor is, press V and delete the first part of that video. So by doing that, R now slides in from underneath how. So if we play that back from the very beginning, how are you? So we need to go one more second to the right. So around here, we'll create a brand new keyframe on you. Go six keyframes to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pull you over to the left. And again, we're going to press C on the keyboard to cut. And then we're going to delete the first part of that video. And if we play that back, we've got how are you? Cool. That looks really awesome. Of course, though, it's a little bit slow. So I want to close the gap between each movement. So I'm going to pull the second video over to the left a touch. We'll pull the third video back over to the left as well. And if we play this back, that's much quicker. Now we're almost there. We just want to go ahead and we want to manipulate the keyframes on each individual title layer. So we're going to select title six, select all of those keyframes on position, right click on one of those keyframes, go to temporal interpolation and select ease in. We'll do the same for the second title, select, right click, temporal, ease in. Go down to the first title, and of course, there is no animation on the first title, so we don't need to do that for title one. And if we play this back, we've got this really awesome sliding in revealing text effect happening. Of course, though, we're currently missing the animation for how. So we're going to do a similar approach for how as we did for R and U. So we're going to move R and U, that is title two and three, over to the right a touch. 
We'll create a brand new keyframe on how roughly 10 frames in. We'll go over six keyframes to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll pull this off screen to the left. And that looks really awesome. Although I want to feel like there's a little bit of bounce on that. So when we go to that second keyframe on how, we're gonna go one, two, three, four keyframes to the right, create a brand new keyframe on position, go to that second keyframe and pull this over to the right a touch. Now we'll play that back. And we've got a little bit of bounce. The problem is the R and the U are a little too quick now. So we'll just move those over to the right just a little bit. And that is looking really awesome. Of course, though, we want to add the ease in effect to those keyframes on title one. So select all of those keyframes on position, right click, temporal interpolation and ease in. Now, when we play this back, we should have this really awesome sliding reveal text effect. Now, if you enjoyed watching this video, then please do consider subscribing. And if you are subscribed, then I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.